Hi, it's Veronica with The Crafty Ladder. We just finished the session where we did the home sweet home sign. We are working on the home set for the Apothecary Cabinet Home Collection. And um, we went ahead and used the brown, the black, and the white for the home sweet home sign. But now we are working on the doormats. And I want to go ahead and do this particular doormat first. It looks like it could also be a picture frame, so if you want to set it up or think of it that way, you can. But when I designed these, I was thinking of doormats, and you've got doormats out there with inlays of hearts, of you know, other shapes as well, and then you have doormats that have the fringe around the edge. So this doormat would be one that's a traditional inlay with a white border. So what I'm thinking, or a black border, and usually the color of the mat is, um, uh, I can't think of the word, but it's kind of a sandy color, um, seagrass, dried seagrass. So um, I can't think of the word, I don't know why it's not coming to me. But you know what I mean, like a sisal mat, something like that, I think. All right, so Home Sweet Home is, um, uh, we, we just finished painting that so I've got the colors out here on the plate so we're gonna go with that and by the way since the word hello was cut out this little piece was left over so you can we'll just go ahead and use some of the accent colors with this it's just a little extra that you can include in the set and I'm gonna set that off to the side alright so let's go ahead and work with this one because I already have the paint ready to go set these off over here so I'm thinking white letters black frame And you know, I don't really want to go with a dark brown. So we're going to go ahead and use maybe this warm buff. It's an apple barrel warm buff. And it's going to be, it's going to mimic very closely to the wood that we have here. So let's go ahead and try that. That'll be our base coat there. So it's in the brown family, but it's not really dark or anything. So I'm just going to get a wipe. And the score lines, it doesn't matter if we cover them up because really they're just there to guide us. So when we set things, we can do so relatively in straight lines. And so that we can get things centered quickly. I'm thinking just a natural rug, like sisal rugs. And I will go ahead and use the brown as a shading color around the perimeter of the mat. of that darker brown around the edge. I'm just going to use a wipey. You can pull out an angle brush and get some shading in there, but so if you've got the wipey handy, you might as well use that. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little shading to what will be the perimeter of the, the black frame once we paint that up. I'm 
do you have a little bit of a fingernail so that kind of helps to guide and a little dark there that's okay I'm gonna come back with that warm buff and lighten up that area intention was to just really add a little bit of dark shading which will be that once we put this there will be a little bit of dark shading on the inside perimeter of the frame so okay I think we accomplished that and now we just need to add black to the frame Again with the white. Just be careful not to add too much pressure. These pieces of, or this particular frame, the wood is thin, and if you put too much pressure, just accidentally it might break the edge off or make or break a piece. my little block. Again, I added with my tape runner a strip of double-sided adhesive there. I'm going to go ahead and glue the, I'm sorry, not glue, but tape the letters here. It'll help me with the paint up, make it really easy. Uh oh, you might be hearing Blackie. It's barking at something. Our neighbors have chihuahuas, and um, one of them is loose out there today. I think they have four chihuahuas. And uh, a little husky, well he's not little, but a husky dog. And that little, one of those little chihuahuas got loose. So he's... little menace to be honest with you because <laughs> he likes to taunt Goldie and Blackie so when Goldie and Blackie are in the yard he likes to taunt them I think they talk about it's like nan nana boo boo I'm out in the world and you're in there stop to think was I going to do this white and yes I was going to do these white you can tell I got some paint inside of that O right there so I'm going to come in with a skewer and get that out of there Actually, the wipe in there and get that out of there. Definitely going to need a second coat of that. sometime last month the gate must have come open to the neighbors and their neighbors from across the street and um, I don't know 
know how, but all of the chihuahuas. I don't know if it's four or five chihuahuas, to be honest with you, but uh, they have a lot of them. And I don't know, we, we've had a chihuahua in the past. <laughs> they like to think that uh, they're a lot larger than they actually are. They have a lot of spirit. And they act like grizzly bears. And so they were out, all out in full force because they escaped. that's good to go. So I think that I'm going to do the, for this mat, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with white letters as well. I was thinking that I'd come in and do some of the, these little, the little fringe pieces, different colors, but the letters will do white. So we're just going to go ahead and add those to the block. And since I've got the wipey ready with the white paint, we can make quick work of that as well. thinking about this particular background. I'm not sure which direction I want to go with that part. Because that'll dictate what we're going to do with the background. So again, these are supposed to be doormats. So Right now I'm thinking of black with white. But I really like how the purple, if we look at the key chain that we created, that we painted up, um, I really like the purple, but I also, well, I mean, I like every color, but that blue, Imagine the blue and the purple together. Hmm. I just have to make a decision. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're going to set that off to the side, let it dry a little bit. And we are going to do, with this one, I said we were going to go ahead and do um, different colors for the fringe. But what about the background here? I think we're just going to go ahead and do the entire thing in um, that sky blue. lines are just there to guide us when we glue up the welcome on there. If you just heard some pitter-patter that's black and you came in the room. He hasn't figured out how to get the door open. He's watched Goldie do it enough times, but he's just not. Actually, he'll do it if he really wants to get out there. 
And usually he's not uh, motivated by food or snacks. He's one of those dogs that's motivated by rubs. But if he wants to get out of the room, he'll only usually do that because he hears something, some kind of noises outside. He's the guard dog of the house. So he knows how to get the door open coming into the room, but he just kind of uses his paw and kicks it open. He's figured that out. But going out, I just think he's a little bit lazy. <laughs> Goldie, he'll wait for Goldie to do the work of opening the door. She has to, what she does is she sticks her snout in the door frame and just wiggles, wiggles, wiggles until the door gets its way open, get, gets it, oh, gets open. And with Goldie, she is motivated by food, so food and snacks. We have to be careful because we don't want her to overdo it. And she would just eat and eat and eat if she could. She takes after me, I guess. <laughs> So I am, we'll come in and touch up with some blue and some green little accents on some of these. Every other, we'll go ahead and do that. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with uh, blue and purple for this one. I'm just feeling blue and purple. And I think of that song. True blue, baby, I love you. Madonna, of course. Well, you can tell, right, with my, with my voice. <laughs> I've had another song in my head, so getting True Blue in there's a little bit of a relief. I like that video too for that song. I don't know if you remember, but they're driving around in a little car, a little convertible. Okie dokes, a little bit of blue for some shading. period should be like love period making a statement okie dokie and then I'm going to come in with that darker blue so blue we'll say green purple blue green purple blue green purple Blue, green, purple. Oh! This should be blue, green, purple. Blue. Maybe a little bit more. Green, purple. Green, purple. Green, purple. Green, purple. Gosh, I still haven't made my way all the way around. Green, purple. Green, purple, 
a little bit more. Green, purple, and blue, green, purple, and then that should be blue too. It already looks cute just like that, but um, we are going to come in and do the other colors. I think I'm just going to come in and do a little bit of getting in some shading into that part go and we are going to do purple for this one so it is that and I'm just going to add it to the sign to the mat itself it is that lavender sachet shading with the royal violet and here I do need to clean up some get some room on this little plate here so you can see you can reuse the plates get some shading around this perimeter here so that when we put the heart in we'll have a little bit of shading around that but I'm trying to outline on the inside so I only get a little bit around the edge Probably a safer bet to do this with a paintbrush, but oh well. As long as you aim for the inside, you should do okay. Okie dokes. Try and do the same thing with the little circle here, the period. to paint I'm um, sorry to glue those up and oh forgot our little our little mat here with the fringe so we're gonna go ahead and do blue green purple Green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue, green, purple. As 
looking cute. And green, purple. And we are back to where we started. It's subtle, but it's there. All right, now we need some of that green, and I haven't forgotten this little piece here, so we'll go ahead and use some of the green there. And we are using, <clears throat> excuse me, Deco Art Americana Satin, which I really love the finish on that, and then it's Cactus. Again, this is the piece that was left from cutting out the letters for hello for this mat. So rather than throwing it away, we're going to keep it with the set. And I'm just using green because we went with blue here and purple here, so... it out and use it as a little sign and now we're going to come in with that darker shade of green which is lush green deco art americana lush green and do a little bit of shading on it feel like I need additional an additional coat because the colors are really are similar. And I'm gonna add a little bit of shading around the edging of the letters. And I'm not too worried about precision or anything on these. It's just a fun little piece. done. Now we just need to, oh, I forgot that we were going to add green to the fringe. So, crazy on that one. And I messed up there. It should be green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue, green here, purple, blue,
crazy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and get some of that sky blue. And do a little touch up. some green that I didn't want to get. Green. Okay, that takes care of that. And I think this was supposed to be purple, blue, green, purple, blue. Supposed to be blue. Okay, I went too fast, so that's what happens. All right, time for glue up. So let's go ahead and do the heart one first. All right, we need some glue. And I have some there, but it's already dried up, I can tell. so pretty. It's really soft. Maybe too pretty for a doormat. <laughs> All right, let's do the frame. Well, no, we better put the letters on first. So the H. Use the score lines to help you. tend to slide, so be mindful of that. period. I think that's so funny because it's like a statement, right? That's why I put the period there. Hello, period. It can be serious or it can be... <laughs> whimsical. Now the frame. And just be careful as you hold it not to put too much pressure. You don't want it to break. All right. Use 
use the score lines as your guide. You don't need to worry about glue seepage because it does dry clear. But if you've got a lot on there, I did go a little bit overboard. So if you do have a lot, you'll probably want to use a wipey to clean that up. And you can use a skewer. Oh, it looks so pretty. I like it. So. I had pre-cut a bunch of wipies, but looks like I'm out. So going to do a little bit of cleanup here, that seepage, and there's some on this inner corner, so I'm get that off with a skewer, and here as well. Again, it dries clear so you don't have to worry, but if it's excessive, you want to take it off. Because what it will do is it will dry clear, but there might be a little bit of a sheen. Okay, I'm just going to pick that up to take a look. It looks pretty good. Have a little bit of seepage right there with that O. Get that off. Oh, looks good. That's a pretty doormat. All right, and we have one more to go. fringe mat needs its letters. Sometimes if I put too much, I can take it off with a parchment, just a piece of wax paper or parchment paper. or kind of put two letters back to back to get some of that excess glue off. So we've got the W, use the score lines as your guide. are really thin so you've got to find the surface area for the for the glue and it doesn't take much seepage there. I'm going to take it off before it starts to dry. Two more letters.
since you're not using mesh glue at all, it's going to start to glue up pretty quickly. So you want to try and do a good job of the placement. So those are our doormats, and I think they look fabulous. So I know I'm seeing them in, uh, here in front of me. I can see the detail of the colors, the fringe, the little, um, the variation in the colors, the green, the blue, and the purple along the fringe. I don't know if you're getting a true sense of that, but it does look pretty. And then we have the hello mat, and then of course the heart mat. Hello, heart period, love period. And then this is just a little bonus piece that came out from that cutout. So I think they look wonderful. They go with our collection. Of course, our accent colors are the green, the blue, and the purple shades of those colors. And then, of course, we have the um, base colors, which are the white brown and black so they're looking fantastic see it all coming together here and of course we've got the other pieces here so we are done with this particular set this was the doormat session if you have any questions please give me a holler over on Facebook or you can send me an email to veronica at gmail.com and I'd love to see how you put your doormats together what colors you decide to use so please send them my way, post over on Facebook, or send me an email. All right, thanks so much. Our next sessions, we will be covering the We Are Family sign, and we've got to do the banners, so we'll see uh, what, what I decide we'll work on next. All right, thanks so much. Bye.